Craig Adams here from Wedding Film School, and today I'm going to teach you how to record board audio from a DJ or a band at a wedding. So I've got all these cables on my gear page, and um, the one email that I keep getting is people being like, ah, how do you use them? What do we actually do with these cables? So I hope this video explains what you actually do to get perfect audio from the board at every wedding. So the audio that we're getting is, you know, during the ceremony, they'll have a microphone that the couple is speaking into, and then it projects it out to the guests so that they can hear. And an audio tech will set this up, but they'll have a mixer. You can record that. And then you'll also have, like, the house audio person doing uh, reception speeches. Once again, like, probably a wireless audio mic. <laughs> wireless audio mic. Um, and they'll be speaking into that for the speeches and that'll be projected to the guests so they can hear. And trust me, I understand how confusing this can be and intimidating when you're starting out because when I was starting out, I had no idea what I was doing with audio. Um, regardless, putting microphones on people and then slowly I learned that I could be recording from the mixers, from the DJs and bands, and I did it incorrectly, I messed up a lot, and then I finally got into the rhythm and figured out, you know, the perfect way to get great audio every single time. So that's what I'm here to help you with today. Yay! So first, you're talking with a human being. You know, this audio tech really isn't there to help you, but they also are, so it's a delicate balance. Regardless, please treat them with respect. That's how you're going to get and make this work. Um, I recommend contacting them beforehand. You know, you can actually ask the couple who they are, get an email, a phone call, uh, make it happen, and then tell them, hello, my name is this, I'm doing this, I would love for this to happen if possible. And then on the day of, just be nice, like, always ask, don't demand. That is where most people mess this up. Walk up and be like, hello, my name is Craig Adams. How are you doing? and then be like, well, I'm shooting video for Han and Leia, and um, I would love it, if possible, that I could get a, a line out from your mixer so I could record uh, whatever they're, all the dialogue for the ceremony or all the speeches during you know the speeches here. And they'll be like, yeah, cool. And I'll be like, hey, I got all the cables we might possibly need. Let's make this happen. And he's like... Yeah, let's do it. And then we're golden. You know, there are only a couple of options. XLR, quarter, and RCA. So I'm going to show you everything in my little bag. So this is like literally it other than the actual recorder, which is larger and goes somewhere else in my bag. I love this little clear vinyl. You can find it on the gear page. So microphones, they can be cheap Apple headphones because literally I'm just testing uh, like that I can hear it like just the most basic of tests. Like I don't have to have really quality high fidelity headphones because there's really not much I can do if the quality is not there. So I'm just testing the levels and making sure that it is, it sounds like how it looks on the monitors. So this is XLR male to female. It's not that long, it's shorter. So if, so this is the last case scenario. Um, if they can't give me something from their mixer, pretty much 10 out of 10 times you're going to be able to <laughs> 10 out of 10 i love my ratios today be able to um plug this into their actual speaker to get a master out on the speaker it's not the best quality but it's a good backup in case you can't do anything else so this is rca to quarter this goes into the mixer this goes into my recorder i'm set help help me this is quarter to quarter so this would go into their mixer, and then this would go into my recorder. This is probably what I use 9 out of 10 times. Uh, this is my go-to cable. For my Tascam, I can power it via the USB. So I plug this into my Tascam, and then this goes into like an Apple USB to wall outlet charger or plug, or um, I can actually plug this into a portable battery. So this powers my recorder. And then very simple, if I'm plugging into where the DJs are and they don't have an outlet, I'm like, well, guess what? I solve problems. I don't create problems. I solve them. So that's all the stuff that I bring and use with my Tascam DR60. It works great. So if you look at my gear page for the starter kit, you'll see the Roland. And it has two 3.5 millimeter jacks on the top. One is mic, one is line. There's a big difference between the two. It took me a good month or two to figure it out myself when I was starting out, and it 
cause some problems. So I'm going to help you out now. The line input is very low signal. Um, you're going to get that from microphones, from labs, from stuff like that. You're really not going to use uh, that unless you're plugging, you know, a lapel microphone into the top of the recorder to like put it on someone. But as far as board audio, you're going to use the line port instead because it accepts a much stronger signal. So some people use recorders like the Zoom and they'll try to plug like a mixer into it to record and you'll find like even if you put the level all the way down to like one or even like 0.5 the levels coming in are still like almost peaking that's because uh, you're getting a much stronger signal than your you know your input can take so with a Roland has two ports so mic and line so you want to accept the line if you're doing a DJ board. Um, so on the top of the gear page, you'll notice two cables. One is quarter to 3.5. So the quarter goes into the board and then the 3.5 goes into the line connection. And you'll also find the other cord, which is RCA, once again goes into the board. And then the 3.5 goes into the line input of the recorder. So I, I, you know, I suggest having these two cables because you're not sure what the mixer is going to give you. Sometimes it's RCA, sometimes it's line. So have both just in case. With those two and the Roland, you should be able to record pretty much every single board audio, you know, situation you run into. So with the professional kit on my gear page, it's more similar to mine where you have quarter to quarter and then RCA to quarter and then XLR to XLR. So those three options are pretty much all you need with this kind of portable recorder, which I suggest is the Zoom H6. So the Zoom H6 actually has all three connections. XLR is four XLR connections, four quarter connections on the sides, two on each side, and then it also has a 3.5 connection. But I recommend always trying to go for the quarter. Um, it works, you know, so always go for that. So with those three cables, technically you should be able to record any situation that a DJ or a band, aka a mixer, will throw at you. So here's a couple of tips to wrap up. Um, when you start rolling on your audio, just roll way before you need to. Um, because you usually have a ton of audio space on your cards, so just why not? It's one last thing you have to worry about, pressing that record button. And then once you do, push hold on so that if anyone touches it, it's, it's probably not going to stop rolling. Uh, make sure that your power is on you by USB so that you know you're not going to lose power halfway through the speeches or something. People ask me about attenuators all the time. Um, so they're little adapters that you put in between connections for audio, and it it reduces your level by negative 10 dB, negative 20, etc. And uh, they can be good to transform a line level into a mic level, but you usually need a ton uh, to bring it down. Um, they're good as backups, but honestly, if you um, can record line input into your recorder, you should be set. Um, it's only when you have like a Zoom H1 and you're trying to record um, a mixer into that um, is when you're going to need to reduce that level because you're trying to record, but it's like always peaking even though you have it low. And that should be it. Hopefully after watching this, you are prepared to record audio. You're not as intimidated. You kind of have a plan. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it. Um, if you want to check out the cables, um, I have a link below for the gear page. Uh, you'll find everything you need to uh, shoot a wedding uh, if you're a beginner or advanced. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, thanks.